But some people don't know this when they like... When they start playing, they assume that it would be like the others where you want to kind of like run on the ground and stuff. But there's some really weird speed tech in 3D World. Okay, so if I have it like this, so if you just run on the ground, so he hits the stage one and stage two burners. Once he hits stage two, he's at max speed. See, so watch. Stage one, stage two. Now he's max speed. So if I jump and land, I'm fine. He's still max speed no matter what. It's like the other game styles. You can jump or run on the ground. But if I don't reach max speed, let's say I hit stage one and jump. Now he goes stage one again, stage two. Now he's stage two and he's going as fast as possible. But like if I start by jumping, if at any point I land now, he's got to hit stage one, stage two. And um, like re-accelerate. So what's interesting is the fastest way to accelerate is a long jump. So right before or as you're hitting that stage one burner, which is usually like the crack of the fence right here, like the, like the, the crack of the fence, like right here. That's when you want a long jump. If you long jump earlier than that, he'll do a short long jump. Like, see that slow motion long jump? But right as he as the sparks fly out, if you long jump, he gets fast acceleration. But if you stop jumping, see he did the stage one, stage two burner situation. So you can do one of two things. Long jump and keep long jumping. See, now he's at max speed. He's staying at max speed. Hold on. So, long jump, long jump. So I'm at max speed, but if I stop, burner, burner. Now he's max speed again, so he accelerates. So that's not good. But you can also do this. Long jump, regular jump, regular jump. I'm still at max speed, but if I stop, acceleration, acceleration. So yeah. So that's kind of interesting. You want a long jump right there. And you know, you know if you got the fastest long jump because the sparks don't come out. See there the sparks came out, so it's a little bit slow. So if I go too soon, you get a slow long jump. See the slow long jump? But if you go right on time, you get the fast long jump and no sparks. Like that, see that? It's like right when he gets to the crack of this fence, or in other game styles, there's usually a visual indicator right here as well. It's like this line right there. And he's like right in the middle of that line. Yeah, go get every world record. What's the time save? So like we can compare, right? So like let's, let's make like a 10 second timer just to see like how far you actually get. And then we might have to move the goal back, I'm not sure. See now it's like every other game style. We can jump or run and we're moving the same speed horizontally. Okay, so we made it to this, this crack right here. See, our character's position shows just how far he made it. So he's right in the middle of this crack, basically. But if we long jump and just do regular jumps after, we might actually be able to make it maybe onto the flag, but a lot closer. So whereas before we were like here on this crack, now we're like, a whole one, two, three blocks farther. Yep. Late night audible stream? Sort of, Orphelius, yeah. And people have built levels like this where... Where they would have like the flag maybe here. And I can also switch between regular jumps and long jumps. As long as you keep jumping, your character won't try to re-accelerate. See, there we go. So like this would be a level that like 
you could only clear with like the speed tech. It's kind of interesting. Whereas if we run, we're not going to be able to get on the flag. I'll just show you guys one more quick one for the speed stuff. A lot of people will do this. A lot of people will put a dash pad as quick, as early as possible right after the start. The fastest way to get there is to roll, to do a front roll. Because if you notice, like normally we would run a few steps and then long jump right here. But if we long jump right here, we're going to miss the dash pad and the dash block like gets us going super fast at like dash block speed. So we want to touch the dash block as soon as we can, right at the edge of the dash block. So whether you're jumping or whatever you're doing, you want to land on the dash block early as possible. So anyways, what we want to do here is we want to roll right away. And then we hit that dash block super fast. If the dash block wasn't here, the roll would slow us down because, well, it's fast, but then we have to stop, you know, like. So if we roll and then try to run, see how slow that is? Or if we roll and try to long jump even, it's just slow. But since the dash block's here, we quickly roll onto the dash block and then the dash block accelerates us. And then one final tip. You can actually long jump before your dash speed is up. So let's take the timer off. Or at least make it something that is longer. Okay. So like, let's see. So if we just walk onto the dash block, our dash speed's up like right back here somewhere. Let's try that again. So, but if we long jump right before our dash block speed is up, like if we can kind of get a feel for when the dash block speed's gonna be up and we long jump, you maintain the dash block speed through the long jump. So instead of stopping the dash block speed here or whatever, you'd get dash block speed all the way till your long jump is up, which would be like out here. So let's try that. We'll do both. We'll do the roll. And then, oh, I missed the long jump. See, I lost dash block speed right before the long jump. Let's try a little bit. See, see the distance I got on that long jump? Because I still had the dash block speed. Interesting, huh? Big Haas found that one. Very interesting.